What makes people successful is their degree of motivation. Never whine, never complain, never try to justify yourself. If the happiness and prosperity of other people depend on you, you have nothing to fear anymore. The need for certainty is the greatest disease the mind faces. Creative endeavors are by their nature uncertain. When you show yourself to the world and display your talents, you naturally stir all kinds of resentment, envy, and other manifestations of insecurity. You cannot spend your life worrying about the petty feelings of others. Increase your power and your image will gain reliability. Become the curator of life. Edit, leave out the junk. But when you find something worth keeping, treasure it. The truth is that creative activity is one that involves the entire self, our emotions, our levels of energy, our character, and our mind. Be royal in your own fashion. Act like a king to be treated like one. Do not leave your reputation to chance or gossip. It is your life's artwork and you must craft it, hone it, and display it with the care of an artist. People are more complicated than the mask they wear in society. Keep others in suspense. Cultivate an air of unpredictability. Routine life is unbearable. And most people only think about how to escape into the world of fantasy and dreams. The person who cannot control his words shows that he cannot control himself. Be wary of friends. They will betray you more quickly for they are easily aroused to envy. They also become spoiled and tyrannical, but hire a former enemy and he will be more loyal than a friend because he has more to prove. Be as fluid as water. Do not give your enemies anything solid to attack. Never take your position for granted and never let any favors you receive go to your head. Powerful people impress and intimidate by saying less. 
the more you say, the more likely you are to say something foolish. Everyone has to defend himself. Lord, protect me from my friends. I can take care of my enemies. Teach no one your tricks or they will be used against you. There is nothing more intoxicating than victory. And nothing is more dangerous. We ask so much of each other without realizing how much of a sacrifice it is to give someone what they want physically, mentally, and financially. A woman that's in high demand, her mindset is three main things. She's cooperative, she's smart, and she's agreeable. All three of those things must be there. Women want a financially stable, young, sensitive man capable of violence and men want a chaste, sexually liberated mother who also can host dinner parties. We're shocked because people don't tell women the truth these days. Men get told the truth all the time. Women have no problem telling a man I don't want an average man. It happens every day on my show. Whatever you desire to do, you can get it done. Stop the excuses. If you're a man, you need to become CIA. Confident, intelligent, and assertive. When men are the best versions of themselves, the world is a better place. Why should anyone else respect you if you don't respect yourself? If you are doing your work and following your why, your life will be fulfilling and you will attract like-minded people. If a man values himself, then there's no reason that he shouldn't be able to succeed on his own terms. You are going to be insulted if you're a winner. Winners always get insulted by losers they're gonna throw a lot of insults at you. But the one thing they're not gonna be able to do is beat you. Women want men who are purpose and goal oriented. They want men who are driven, productive, competitive, and successful. If you're a man, ask yourself the question, do people invite you to anything? Do people invite you to go anywhere? If not, then you've got work to do. What bothers most men is living a life of insignificance. Well, you're the only one who can fix that problem. So stop bitching about it and take action. Women love men who have a life that looks exciting. 
Men get told every day where they rank. They get rejected all the time. When you learn how to walk away from a woman, you're in a position of power. Women by nature want to consolidate on the highest value man possible. Social media and dating apps have made it to where you have 100% of women wanting men in the top 10 to 20%. Being a high value man starts with money. Now there are a lot of people who don't like that concept, but I didn't come up with the whole notion of a six figure guy. As a man, you must have utility. You must be of use to a group of people. If other people don't see you as useful, then you're not a high value man. A lion does not concern himself with the opinion of sheep. The house that puts family first will always defeat the house that puts the whims and wishes of its sons and daughters first. The only way to keep your people loyal is to make certain they fear you more than they do the enemy. Any man who must say, I am the king is no true king. Family is the true source of power. Without it, you are nothing. A wise ruler knows there is no glory in ruling over ruins. Power is not a question of birthright, but of taking what is rightfully yours. The greatest fools are oft times more clever than the men who laugh at them. In the Game of Thrones, you either win or you die. There is no middle ground. The man who passes the sentence should swing the sword. The greatest enemy is not a sword or a spear, but a lack of vision. The lion does not need to prove his bravery to the sheep. A ruler who hides behind his advisors is no ruler at all. The most dangerous words in any kingdom are, what if? When you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die, there is no middle ground. 
A lion does not flinch at the laughter coming from a jackal. The history of the world is written in blood, not ink. The man who fears losing has already lost. The higher you climb, the further you have to fall. Loyalty is earned, not demanded. The great game is terrifying. The only mistake is to play it timidly. A wise ruler does not seek war, but prepares for it nonetheless. A wise ruler knows that sometimes the best way to solve a problem is to eliminate it. The greatest weapon in a ruler's arsenal is patience. A ruler who cannot control his own family is no ruler at all. The true power of a lion is not in its roar, but in its ability to strike silently. A ruler must know how to listen as much as he knows how to speak. A ruler who lacks confidence will never be respected. You cannot be a great ruler if you are afraid to take risk. A wise ruler knows that sometimes you have to sacrifice the pawns to protect the king. The most dangerous enemy is the one who smiles and shakes your hand. Never make a threat you're not prepared to carry out. A wise ruler knows that mercy is a weapon to be used sparingly. The greatest battles are won before they are fought. The man who seeks power at any cost will eventually pay the price. In the Game of Thrones, even the honorable can become pawns. The greatest mistake is to underestimate your enemy. A wise ruler knows how to turn his enemies into his allies. The strongest castles are built on the foundations of fear. A ruler who shows weakness invites rebellion. When you rule, you must be prepared to make the hard decisions, the ones that others cannot. 
The true measure of a ruler is not how many lives they save, but how many they are willing to sacrifice for the greater good. In the Game of Thrones, loyalty is a fickle thing. It must be earned, tested, and proven time and time again. The price of greatness is often paid in blood. A ruler's legacy is not measured by the length of their reign, but by the impact they leave on the world long after they are gone. If I lost, it wasn't because I was backed into a corner and beaten down. It would be because I'd gone for what I wanted and simply come up against someone with more skill. If you're feeling even a little bit of uncertainty about what you want, take the time to make a vision board. Events in life are not negative or positive. They are completely neutral. The universe does not care about your fate. It is indifferent to the violence that may hit you or to death itself. Things merely happen to you. It is your mind that chooses to interpret them as negative or positive. When you've been in life-threatening situations, you become aware that life is not forever. When I got shot, it was a $5,000 exchange. The price of a life is cheap. All bullshit aside, now it's time to be honest. I fear no man for death is all that's promised. Live on the edge. I'm only free because I'm not afraid. Everything I was afraid of already happened to me. Having a brush with death or being reminded in a dramatic way of the shortness of our lives can have a positive therapeutic effect. Our days are numbered and so it is best to make every moment count, to have a sense of urgency about life. I don't necessarily view death as something negative. Death gives meaning to life. Living in fear of death is living in denial. Actually, it's not really living at all because there is no life without death. It's two sides to one. You can't pick one side and say, I'm just going to use the head side. No. It doesn't work like that. You have to pick up both sides because nothing is promised to anyone in this world besides death. For me, there was no plan B. I absolutely had to be a success in music. 
The only thing positive in my life was music. My music is a soundtrack. The film is my life. My music matches things I've experienced or felt, even if the whole thing is made up. A man becomes as attractive as an attractive woman when he becomes successful and is publicly noted. Powers an aphrodisiac. When I'm actually creating music, I try not to listen to the hip hop records that are going on. Because I think, subconsciously, we steal from each other. The knife's edge that separates failure from success in life, that edge is your attitude, which has the power to help shape your reality. You learn a lot about yourself when you have success for a while. Like, a lot of things that you think are really important aren't. But you need that process. Hip-hop, it's the safari. It allows people who aren't under those circumstances to come closer to inner city life. To explore it without actually being in danger. It's something kids in middle America indulge in to be rebellious. Life goes by very fast. And the worst thing in life that you can have is a job that you hate and have no energy and creativity in. We must create our own world or we will die from inaction. Mastery is not a function of genius or talent. It is a function of time and intense focus applied to a particular field of knowledge. Keep your friends for friendship, but work with the skilled and competent. Boldness makes even the smallest animal dangerous. The secret to success is retaining your childlike qualities. Mistakes and failures are precisely your means of education. They tell you about your own inadequacies. Your faith in yourself should overcome your insecurities. Imagine yourself a king and you will become a king. The best way to neutralize our own natural impatience is to cultivate a kind of pleasure in pain. Like an athlete, you come to enjoy rigorous practice, pushing past your limits and resisting the easy way out. Everything that happens to you is a form of instruction if you pay attention. In the end, the money and success that truly last come not to those who focus on such things as gold, 
but rather to those who focus on mastery and fulfilling their life's task. Every single human being is a completely unique creation. The time that leads to mastery is dependent on the intensity of our focus. Never waste valuable time or mental peace of mind on the affairs of others. That is too high a price to pay. The future belongs to those who learn more skills and combine them in creative ways. What kills the creative force is not age or lack of talent, but our own spirit, our own attitude. It is up to you to set your own price. Ask for less, and that is what you will get. Ask for more, however, and you send a signal that you are worth a king's ransom. Even those who turn you down will respect your confidence, and that will pay off in ways you can't imagine. Power is not what we do, but what we do not. Hasty and unwise actions that we repeat every day and which ultimately bring us into trouble. The greatest test of courage on earth is to bear defeat without losing heart. When it comes to mastering a skill, time is the magic ingredient. Avoid the unhappy and unlucky. Mastery is not a question of genetics of luck but of following your natural inclinations and the deep desires that stirs you from within. Understand, people judge you by appearances, the image you project through your actions words, and style. If you do not take control of this process, then people will see and define you the way they want to, often to your detriment. I'm the type to swallow my blood before I swallow my pride. Reality has its own power. You can turn your back on it, but it will find you in the end. And your inability to cope with it will be your ruin. The firmer your grasp on reality, the more power you will have to alter it for your purposes. I can't be more than me, but you can make me out to be what you want me to be. Understand, you are one of a kind. Your character traits are a kind of chemical mix that will never be repeated in history. There are ideas unique to you, 
a specific rhythm and perspective that are your strengths, not your weaknesses. You must not be afraid of your uniqueness and you must care less and less about what people think of you. Never be a minion. Always be an owner. I'm a track star running through life, chasing my dream. I don't sleep. I got an opportunity to make a dream become a reality. Keep in mind the following. What you really value in life is ownership, not money. If ever there is a choice, more money or more responsibility, you must always opt for the latter. I remind myself that while it's okay to feel conflicted about a situation, depression is a luxury that I can't afford. I cannot allow another person's lack of success to start undermining my own. I had to overcome challenge after challenge in order to take my life from nothing to living my dreams. Mental alchemy. You can affect it by thinking of any adversity as an opportunity for power. I've made so many mistakes, so many corrections. I'm so far from perfect. So many imperfections. But I'm a go-getter. I get up and I go get it. So if you're preaching prosperity, I want to hit it. Now is the time to stop drifting and wake up. To assess yourself. The people around you and the direction in which you are headed in as cold and brutal a light as possible, without fear. You can build a lifestyle for yourself that doesn't need to be fueled by booze and drugs to get things done. The greatest danger you face is your mind growing soft and your eyes getting dull. If I lost, it wasn't because I was backed into a corner and beaten down. It would be because I'd gone for what I wanted and simply come up against someone with more skill. You cannot wait until everything is perfect. You have to start improving yourself with the skills you currently have. Winners find a way to win. Losers give you reasons why they can't. Anytime someone is a winner, they have haters. You have to be brutally honest about where you are and where you want to get to. Understand how far that is and then put in the work. You don't have to have the resources of the top 1%, but you must have the mindset they do. Don't ask the world to respect you. 
if you don't respect yourself. Throughout history, losers and quitters have always found a way to justify losing. Money making is a social activity and success is shared. You will only go so far without other people. Waking up every day is a miracle. There are some people out there that are okay with not waking up if they go to sleep. I'm not telling you that you can't do a damn thing. You can act however you want to act and you get the outcomes you get. You can lose the game, but don't lose the lesson. Life happens out in the world. You've got to leave your house and go get busy. The reason you're not successful is not because you lack information. It's because you lack desire. I don't care about your pride. You can't be proud and broke at the same time. Just put your head down and work hard for five years. And you will fill your life with brighter possibilities than you could have possibly imagined. If you continue to do what you do, you will continue to get what you've got. Anyone can have a good year or two. But if you string it together, that implies some sort of consistency. You can decide to win in your life. But the first thing you need to do is stop complaining about everything that's within your control. We have gotten to the point where we don't know how to relate to each other. We know how to swipe left, swipe right, hook up, and get on. You don't have to be active on social media to know that today's dating culture is toxic. Making a man in your present pay for the stuff in your past equals no future. Do not give to anybody based upon your level of attraction or interest. Do or give based upon their level of investment. Whether you like it or not, the market decides your value. The market decides everything. Y'all go by and get that brother sub. I think that was pretty good, man. I think that was pretty good. I think it was, it was artist's name was Kenna. Uh, let's see, when did he put that up? <sighs> Dropped it a couple weeks ago. 2,800 views. We got 197 subscribers. Uh, if you go over there, 
Tell them the Godfather sent you. Good job, man. I respect work. I respect work. Um, I actually ran across that post looking up something else. Uh, and it's funny, when I went over on the channel, the people said they had found him because he was in other people's comment section chatting and commenting on music. So I did when I first got started. When I first got started, I came to YouTube and I wasn't known. And you have to try to build yourself up, but all it takes is one potential break. I mean, look what happened with me. I'm doing what I'm doing for years, so talking to men for years, but then one video on one day, on one trip, uh, and look at what's happened. Um, so I think it's important, especially as men, um, when you get something, how can you use what you got to help other people? I've said it before and I'll say it again. I want to get ridiculously rich doing this, but I want to get it by helping people get what they want and I will get what I want along the way. Life is about people, folks. People won't forget how you make them feel. They may forget what you say, forget what you do, but how you make them feel is important. Once you get something for yourself, Enjoy it. Enjoy your success. Enjoy what you got. But remember, without support with other people, you ain't really got nothing.